Hey everybody, I'm Josh. And I'm Rachel. And in Las Vegas, we have tried almost 30 different steak houses. So you knew we were gonna have to try the newest one. So here we are at Don's Prime at the Fountain Blue. Let's go. Check out this doll over here. Um, this venue is beautiful, by the way. We have a nice little uh, booth, and it looks like everybody kind of has a booth of some sort. Yeah. Yeah, it looks great. All right, taking a look at the food menu, you can see 165 to 290 for the seafood plateau. Obviously, that's always over the top. 20 to 40 bucks for soups and appetizers. Caviar. I, I ain't even looking there, but it's 235. You can see the steaks start at 85, upwards of $205. You can see the Wagyu definitely increases the price. Entrees wise, you got $42, upwards of $185. My goodness. I don't think we will be doing the Alaskan king crab over there. <laughs> Not tonight. No. Uh, but the enhancements. The king crab is $36 for Oscar style. That's not really that bad. It's not terrible. <laughs> Who knows how much they give you, but you can see it's definitely pricey. $3 per sauce actually is pretty good compared to other places we've seen. And then sides being $18, that's actually pretty standard for a lot of steakhouses we've come across. All right, here you will see the cocktails are about $23. Uh, we do have a friend with us this evening. He's talking about doing this old fashioned, and I think I might do it too. The scary thing is it's a market price, which I have never heard that before. But there you go, $23 for some cocktails. All right, Josh is gonna be in love with this pretzel bread, yeah. I know it. Well that, and it's black pepper pull apart yep. bread. Like that looks so good. That piece is mine. I, I hope so. All right, so I'm super excited to try this out. I have seen this on other vlogs. Check this out. All those layers. Mm, it smells so good. It smells too. delicious. It's nice and warm. And there is some butter that comes with it. Let's try this out. That may be too much butter, but I don't care. I was like, it's softer, but it's not spreadable. Nice and crisp, warm, moist. Can you taste soft. the pepper in it? A little bit? Yeah. It's not overpowering, so if you're not a black pepper fan, it won't be bad. If you're a bread fan, you'll love it. Perfect. All right, for appetizers, we are starting off with a beef tartare, which is on a potato pavé, I believe is what they called it. Yeah. It's like, you can see there's thin layers of potatoes that they stack, 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 stack. And then you can see there's a little nice fry on them. Um, that mushroom is gonna definitely come off of mine, but I'm excited to try this. It does look very good. <laughs> and some caviar on top. And we did add, normally it comes with two, we added a third for our guests. And then, I've been addicted to a nice shrimp cocktail, and this is actually Those very large. Those things are large. huge. Yeah, that is quite the size. Yeah. Um, so typically I would be a little annoyed by there only being three, but they're, they look good size. Yes, they do look good. Yes. All right, All right Rachel's I'm, doing the apps. I am, and this shrimp cocktail is huge. Nice, thick, served, chilled, on a bed of ice. Great freshness to that shrimp. The cocktail sauce is not overly powering, and it's not overly spicy. So I really enjoy that. Again, a nice fresh shrimp cocktail. As Josh mentioned, these shrimp are huge. I'm not disappointed that there's only three. Now that is a good size. But the piece I'm super excited for is some beef tartare. So I'm gonna, it's gonna yeah. be a big bite. This was the first is. choice out of everything for Rachel. <laughs> I like the look of that uh, potato. Mm. Yeah, look at that. That potato super thin. stands out. It is nice and crispy. Yeah. The beef tartare is great. Um, a nice strong BB flavor. The caviar brings a nice acidity to it. Oh, I'm making a mess. Yeah, and then you dropped it. Sorry. And then I dropped it. <laughs> but very good. So I do want to just say that uh, both of us actually feel like the potato overpowers the beef a little bit, but it tastes great. Yeah. So 
Um, take that as you want. It's not the most beat forward, but the potato definitely does uh, take over a little. If you're enjoying this video and looking for more Las Vegas restaurant reviews, be sure to hit that subscribe button. We have almost 200 restaurant reviews in Las Vegas alone. I am excited for this. I don't know why, I just love a freaking steakhouse. You can see, yeah, you can see we ended up with a porterhouse. So you got your New York strip on this side. You got your filet on this side, which I already took a few pieces, and I think Rachel might have as well. But it's gonna be smaller for sure. But that is a nice thick piece of porterhouse right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with the New York. New York is generally Rachel's cut. But it's usually your least favorite cut. It is, so we'll see if it's good. So when they uh, prepared it at the table side, which honestly is awesome, the fact that they sliced it, it's really nicely done. But they did put some beef tallow on top, which is like some fat. And so, some salt. Which we actually salt. asked for extra, because yeah. we like extra seasoning salt on top. They also came with two trumpet mushrooms on top and I've already inhaled those. They were delicious. I almost wish they'd bring us more mushrooms. <laughs> But Not me. I know. <laughs> but I will say, the uh, New York strip is actually really good. It's got a nice bite to it. It's got really good flavor to it. Though. How about the oh sear? Gosh. It does have a nice hard sear. Good. It's just not, there was like a heavier crisp at SW. This is really good though. And then we also ended up with a couple of different sides. We did some potatoes gratin and some asparagus. All right, so here's the potatoes. I'm just hoping for nice cheesy potatoes, right? That's what it looked like serving them up. I mean, they were pretty cheesy. Delicious, cheesy, ooey gooey, awesome. Yeah. The drinks have also came out. They are, I'm, I mean, mine's a classic margarita with a splash of orange juice and some tahini. Pretty good. Yours is a smoked My, old fashioned, mine right? Mine is a classic old fashioned. Uh, it did get smoked at the table side. Very good. Uh, the good thing is, they were talking about the market price one, which is almost $50 more. Luckily, the waiter talked me out of yeah, it. Yeah, he was very kind in saying what it was, yeah, th what the like, difference was. It's almost the same drink, but it's served table side with yeah. a slightly different bourbon. Yep. The asparagus. They're pretty thick asparagus. Nice and big. There's nice crispy cheese on top of it. Very good. Good. Um, I'm going to go ahead and try this filet, though. And this venue, we have to say, is absolutely gorgeous. It's got almost every table, at least what we can see, has a booth seating of some sort. So it's kind of neat, that route. Yeah. Kind of loud, but not, again, it's not loud like bumping DJ music. It's loud because there's enough people in here. There it is, yeah. yeah. Um, filet is delicious, nice, flavorful. It's not the most melt in your mouth that you've ever had, but it's got a, a decent amount of chew, but not too much. It, I actually really like all of them. Good. I hope you do know what we're going for for the oh, desserts. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so look at the dessert menu. <laughs> These are seventeen dollars a piece. That's actually a decent price. Yeah, it's actually pretty standard. We paid it like seems. twenty-two for lunch today for dessert. That's true, and that was not at a steakhouse. Right. So I'll let you know a secret. What we're gonna get is. Oh, oh my man. God! Yes. Yeah. All right. So double chocolate s'more. There's a brownie, there looks like there's ice cream, there's a toasted marshmallow on top, and chocolate syrup. This thing looks great, and it comes under a, is it called a cloche? Mm. Mm -hmm. To keep this, the campfire inside, basically. I was not expecting the amount of smoke flavor on that. Really? Yeah, it's really intense and really strong. I wonder what that ice cream is, though. I gotta see if I can figure out that flavor. And he did say that these are just like sheets of chocolate that you can just tear down. Mm. I have no idea what that ice cream is, I'm gonna have to ask. But it's all very tasty and it tastes like the most elegant, elevated s'mores I've ever had in my life. So tasty. That is quite the marshmallow on top there, huh? It is. Mm -hmm. It's like more marshmallow than ice cream. I like it. Yeah.
All right, we just finished up at Don's Prime. I gotta yeah. say, that was freaking awesome. It was really good. Yeah, uh, the sear on the steak, it ended up being even more than I initially thought when I first started eating it. It was delicious. Yeah, it was really tasty. Um, the Again, we are lovers of the finishing salt, and that was yes. just a, on top of it all. Yeah, <laughs> it I'm really so glad, was so good. I'm so glad I had asked him to actually put an extra dousing of it because yeah. We can't get enough of it. So if you ever have the chance, definitely put more on there. Um, from start to finish, I feel like all the food was good. The drink service was a bit slow. Yeah, so I don't know if it's the bar or our wait staff, but that was the only ding I would have to give for the whole place. Yeah, the venue is beautiful. Yeah. Uh, which, by the way, Fountain Blue is beautiful. It is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, glad we came here. We actually did have, uh, through Cheer Match, we had $300 worth of resort credit. Uh, we did have a friend with us, so you'll see some charges on there that you might not have seen the food for. Yeah. It was well worth it. Glad we came. We'll definitely come back. What did you think of that s'mores dessert? I thought it was really good. It was so, yes. so tasty. Very rich, uh, delicious. The ice cream is a toasted marshmallow ice cream. Yeah, and another good thing is you should definitely share it. There are shareable sizes for these desserts. Yeah, we, we found that pretty much everywhere. Yeah. If you're enjoying our videos, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. You can also follow us on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and X. All our links are down below. See ya.